Hollaback Youngins, it's Jordan. Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, whatever you guys celebrate, I'm leaving anything out. Leave it in the comment section below, or maybe you don't celebrate anything, but I hope you guys have had a good break so far. I've had an excellent break. I've just been spending time with family mostly, so that's kind of the reason behind why I haven't posted a video for the past three or four days. But that is about to change because I've got until I think the 20th until we have to go back to school. So we're going to be, me and Wesley are going to be posting a lot of videos and doing a lot of different stuff. But anyways, this is some AMR9 Dynamo gameplay. This is an elite version of the AMR9, and it has, I think, two or three bars extra of fire rate. I'll put it on the screen so you guys can check it out. But anyways, the attachments I'm using on this are rapid fire, grip, and extended mags. And these are my three favorites to use. I was using advanced rifling a little bit before, and I took it off. I wasn't sure how it was going to perform. And I found it didn't change it too much, because this gun is mostly medium to short range. So you're not really going to be getting into too many engagements long range. I actually tried to put a red dot sight on when I started using it. That was just a bad idea. Um, maybe if you put on grip with it. Grip is super important on this weapon, by the way, I should mention. Because when I was using it at first, I was like, this weapon kind of sucks. I don't like it that much. Um, it's not getting kills that fast. And then I put grip on it. It totally changed my perspective. Because the thing about this weapon is it's a five round burst. This game seems to have a weapon for every kind of burst. Five, four, six, three. I don't know. They've, they've added on. They've had two round bursts. That's not even a burst. Like, But anyways, let's get back. I'm digressing a little bit. So the, the reason the grip is super important on this weapon is that after this, the second or third shot, it starts to kick pretty hard to the right. Now, if you're using a three round burst or a four round burst, usually that's not a big issue because it's just going to kick a little bit up maybe. But this weapon kicks to the right pretty hard. And the reason that makes a big difference is because after the second or third shot with this weapon, the next two are going to miss the target, which causes you obviously to kill people a lot slower and to maybe think that this weapon is not very good when in fact it actually is really strong if you use it correctly. So I would definitely suggest putting grip on as well as the other attachments I mentioned. Try out some different stuff. Maybe you got some tips for me with this weapon. But anyways, this is a 97 kill game, I believe I mentioned. I did get a lot of deaths, but I was honestly just so surprised that I got 97 kills at the end of this game. Because I was thinking, I, w I don't look at the scoreboard at all when I play nowadays. And I was thinking, maybe I broke 80, maybe I broke 80. And I look at the scoreboard and I was like, you got to be kidding me. I did get a lot of deaths, but that's just kind of the nature of this game. And I was just sprinting around. I got some cool streaks though, so that's kind of why I cut it up. And you'll see in this gameplay that almost all of my engagements were pretty close range. So it shows that this weapon can do a lot close range and can actually outgun people. Not really like the Type 95 or anything like that, but it can, it's a, definitely a viable weapon, medium to close range. Um, and yeah, and you'll, you'll see also, I, the way I controlled the engagements in this game was I was kind of running around this one area. We did lose the game. I had no captures. I'm not even going to pretend to say I was playing the objective. Yeah, I got a bunch of kills on the objective when people were diving on the flag, sure, but I... I was not a team player this game, so if you're looking at this, looking for like a really team-oriented gameplay, this is not the one to watch. Um, so I'm sorry if that's the kind of thing you enjoy. I, I do try to play the objective most of the time. I have a decent win-loss ratio, and I do my best, but just right in this game, I was just, I was having a lot of fun with this weapon, and I was just trying to see how many kills I could get and just unlock the potential of the weapon. So that's my excuse for this game. I will try to not upload losses that often, although I've already uploaded at least two on advanced warfare so maybe it's just a streak man but anyways like i said this gameplay is pretty fast paced i'm running around i believe the map is called terrace and one thing you'll notice that i do a lot is well with any weapon you want to be aiming down sights around corners and stuff but this is a weapon uh kind of like the laser gun although they're very different weapons i really like to strafe with this weapon because the fact that it's a burst fire uh, means that you really need to you need to connect your shots but you also need to be moving so that you have enough time to kill people and move on to the next target as opposed to with, you know, a bow or something where you can kind of just spray people down. I mean, with any weapon, it's a good idea to strafe, but this one's for, uh, specifically, I would suggest doing that. And I also found that you don't really need stock on it, although it's a good option to have. Uh, I would much prefer the other attachments because this gun, being an SMG, already has some really quick movement when you're aiming down sights. But anyways, I think that's all I wanted to say about the gameplay. I apologize if I rambled at all. I'm not used to just talking about gameplays over gameplay. I know, weird as that sounds. Uh, if you haven't checked out our channel yet, please take a moment to do so. It would mean a lot. And we post funny moments videos, montages, Call of Duty gameplays, you know, you name it. Well, I guess you can't really name it. That's pretty much all we post. But <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the commentary. If you did, a like would mean a lot. It helps the channel grow. And... Yeah, leave a comment if you guys have used this weapon, if you have better suggestions for it, if you guys have any cool quests for videos you want to see from us, just let us know in the comment section below. We love interacting with you guys, and I hope you guys have a great day. I will talk to you guys later. Peace.
Nobody look over here. Oh shit! I am not a plant. Okay, bro. Fucking plant, bro. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm trying to solo me, huh? Okay, so I'm a plant. <laughs> Son. Oh, the combo!